Today we're continuing our devotional walk through the Gospels. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7. And this is an amazing passage of Scripture. You have a Roman soldier's servant that's healed. You have a, a widow whose son is literally raised from the dead. I mean, it's amazing, powerful miracles. But then there's another miracle that I think is probably the most powerful of all, and it happens right at the end of chapter seven. Jesus has been invited to a banquet, kind of a dinner of some high-ranking officials, some Pharisees, some religious leaders of the day. And so he comes into the room and they're eating and none of the customary kind of things are done for Jesus that should have been done. His feet aren't washed, he doesn't receive a kiss, his head's not anointed with oil, which was a, a common thing in that day. And then something happens. A woman comes in and she begins to weep and cry and to wash the feet of Jesus with her hair and her tears. And people are very uncomfortable. And one of the Pharisees is thinking, it's recorded in chapter seven, if he really is a prophet, that he would know what kind of woman this is and well, he would deal with it. And so Jesus asks a question and he tells a story about these two men who owed a bunch of money. One owed a huge amount, one owed a little. And the one who owed a little and the one who owed a lot were both forgiven the debt. Then he asked the Pharisee, after that debt had been forgiven, who do you think loved the one who forgave him the most? And the Pharisee had said, well, it would make sense that the one who was forgiven much. And Jesus says, exactly. And he said, I came into the room, you didn't give me the oil, you didn't wash my feet, you didn't greet me with a kiss, but this woman has continually wiped my feet with her tears and anointed me with oil. And Jesus says, he who is forgiven much, loves much. And so the greatest miracle I see in chapter seven of Luke, yeah, the healing's great, the, the raising of the dead is phenomenal, but the greatest miracle of all is the one who's forgiven much. It's, it's salvation. That's the miracle of miracles, that we who have done so much, and we all know our hearts, can be forgiven much, and then find ourselves loving much, just like it says here in Luke chapter seven. So, let me encourage you. You know you've been forgiven much, I've been forgiven much. Let's love him much, and that's the great miracle of relationship with you and I and Jesus Christ. Thank you.